Bonnie, you cleared out other people's emotions from us during the clearing. Why why do we take on the, the these in the first place? And how can we stop doing that? Mm. All right. Okay, so think about this. You, you know, when you're little, little, young, who's who's your teachers? You know, who's talking to you? Basically, it's your mom and it, maybe it starts off mom and dad or your primary caretakers, but it isn't those people are our God. I'm serious, okay? Mom and dad are God, okay? So we listen to the adults. We listen to other people. They're more mature. They're talking to us. So we're believing and drinking in their words, their thoughts, you know, their emotions. And, you know, we, we pull all that in. And then even as we grow up, how many people are afraid of authority? You know what I mean? Like a teacher or a police officer who goes into, you know, <laughs> when you see a police car, you know? So maybe not everybody, but there's somewhere where there's authority. So we, in some levels, in some ways, we have bought into the belief systems that we all live, all humans, that somebody else knows more, somebody else is more intelligent, uh, has more information, is more connected, whatever. It's not a, a pure thought. It's not a thought like we're having, thinking it, it's in the subconscious. It's buried in the subconscious. So as long as we are seeing others as more potent, as elevated, you know, like teachers and enlightened ones and you know saviors and all of that then we're we're still not putting ourselves on the same uh place or this you know the same level as everyone else you know we hold that we're less than and that happens throughout our lives okay and to not and then also when people have like when they're not expressing an emotion here's the here's what's trippy when someone is not feeling what they're really feeling, those energies, we're, we're trying to push them down so that we're not feeling them. Well, here's what happens. They come down, but they get pushed out. And those around us are literally feeling that energy, you know, energy pushing on us. And we don't know the difference. We don't realize that what we're feeling isn't us. We think it's us. So as we are not willing to feel our emotions, we're pushing it out on our children and they're acting out. We're pushing it on our loved ones, our partners, everyone doing that dance. Okay. So there's so many components to that. Um, and then there's energy where like, for example, part of what, like, for example, with the sexual trauma, one of the biggest components that people don't even are aware of is the perpetrator's emotional energy that gets lodged in the victim. Okay. So anytime we got a perpetrator on any level, it doesn't have to be sexual, but anybody who wants to control somebody, to have power over somebody, to fear, make someone afraid, you know, all this emotional energy, that energy is being perpetrated onto, can be perpetrated onto you. All right. So, so the, the big question is, how do we stop it? Well, first you got to wake up to your own self and wake up to that on some level, you, you know, you've been giving yourself power over to others because you don't think you're worthy or whatever your core wounding is and waking up to your own wounding, whatever's, whatever beliefs you've got. But then also to, it's like that, that, that place where we're just saying no more, no more. I'm not doing this dance anymore. You know, you, you got all your emotional energy, you're blasting me. Well, I'm not, I'm no, I'm no longer saying, okay, I'll take it. I'm now saying no. It, you know, it was an unconscious belief that you had to take it. Now you're waking up that you don't have to take it. So part of your journey is basically, you know, not to, just be saying to, within your own self, no more, I'm done. Kind of like having sovereignty over your body, okay? Discarnates come in because you got the doors open. You don't want to be here. You're not, you know, you're thinking things like, I didn't ask to be born. Yeah, I don't like it here. I don't want it here. I don't want to be here. Well, guess what? You've opened that door to let all these discarnates in. Pretty soon you're inundated and pretty soon you're getting pushed out. So it's all about claiming sovereignty, claiming your space, claiming your body, claiming your energy field, your frequency as your own, kind of like your own car. You don't, okay, and when you're owning your car, you don't let people that are going to trash it drive it, you know, I mean. But with your temple, you don't want anybody driving it. You don't want anyone in your body. This is your temple, your body, your life, yours, yours. 
So claiming sovereignty is really important. And by doing those things, you know, clearing out some of our wounding, clearing out misperception, clearing out beliefs, and really becoming that pure frequency that we are in the very core, that pure energy of, of love and light, we are connecting more with that within us. We no longer need to source from somebody. We're no longer looking to get love from a, somebody or appreciation or acknowledge, not acknowledgement. Oh, did I do okay? Am I good enough? Am I okay? You love me? You know, that kind of energy. We start clearing out the victim energy. And pretty soon you stop those kinds of energy soul dances where you're allowing energy to come in. So, I mean, it's a journey, people. You're not going to just instantly <laughs> change everything. You're, but it's an unraveling. It's a clearing. It's a waking up waking up to your own self and being empowered within your own self rather than looking out there for approval. I mean, your people are still, you know, we're all still, many people are still doing that. You know, it's like you want your mom's approval, you want your dad's approval, you want your, you know, all kinds of different people's approval and acceptance and make sure you are okay. All that ends when you're living sovereign within your own self connected to who you are. 